refugee status in Canada. There's a trend going on, a big pattern. They're coming over every day and they're greeted with open arms and uh, you know, what do you want to check in a shirt, right? Come on in and spend a couple of years until we process you and we'll look after you in the uh, meantime, in the interim. You know what? Um, Boy, I, I, people are coming in also now by other means. They're just saying, I'm afraid for my life. And they get plane tickets and they show up in Canada. Well, you know what? That's about 3 billion people then that qualify. I mean, Canada, Canadians, you got to get with it. I mean, you got to get people running that country that have an understanding about the events in the whole world. I mean, you just can't do what they're doing. Who's paying for all this stuff? They should go stay at the Prime Mistakes house. It's just really, really bad. Okay, liberals. Uh, you know, there was a liberal announcer just recently. It was on CNN and Fox and everywhere in the world. It was kind of funny. And this guy <laughs> stood up and said, here's the wall. I'm at the partial wall and there's nobody here trying to break in. There's no illegals coming across. He says, so what's the problem here? Duh. Clearly, the wall kind of works, huh? Oh boy, people like that. It's kind of like the cop that stopped me recently and he says, Do you have a firearm? And I said, Actually, I have several. I have a shotgun in the trunk, I have a revolver on my person, I have a Another one down on my ankle in another holster, and I have one in the glove box. And he said, what are you frightened of? And I said, absolutely nothing. Just sharing. California, it is a sanctuary state. And the new governor there now, he, he's really talking a big game. He says, we're sanctuary. Everybody should come here. Doesn't matter if you're rich or poor and all of us rich types. And if you rich types, you know it's your job to pay for them. And you can stay forever and get driver's licenses and work. I mean, it's, it's a bizarre thing, but I got an idea. I got a bright idea. Canada, Canadians, there's so many Canadians that are cold, okay? So let's first, <laughs> it's cold up there. Firstly, let, let's target the guys that work in the uh, IT world and, and because they can do their job anywhere. So let's take a million Canadians and take them to Temecula, California. Good idea. All you got to do is just go there and based on what the governor and all these communists are saying, you can stay there forever. So while the Mexicans are trying to get across the border to come into California, all of a sudden <laughs> there's more Canadians showing up. Wouldn't it be great to be down there where it's 80 above instead of 40 below? Great idea. Get a man on that. I mean, look at all the cash that we can make. Let's all go to Temecula or pick another place. Paris, pick any town you like. Palm Springs, Los Angeles, you know, Southern California is warmer there and start bringing them in by the millions. And guess what? At least the Canadians will work, particularly if you go you know, if you begin with the computer people, I'm much smarter than I look. Hey, a nation without borders. You know what? It's not a nation. And, and I'm talking about that. It's really not a nation. It's a buffet. Everybody shows up all of the time. And, and uh, another way, I got lots of solutions here. This one I had to write down is so profound. One way to satisfy all of these Democrats, all these crazy people, you know, is let them in. Say you, you want zillions of people to come across the border. Okay, you win, open it up, they can come in. However, what you do then as a government, the Trump administration, is go to all the people that hire people in the U.S. and say, we're going to give you the death penalty. That <laughs> might be a little extreme. We're going to deal harshly with you if you hire anyone. You're not allowed to hire anyone. And then you go to people who own apartment buildings and say, you're not allowed to rent to anyone unless it's a U.S. citizen and they have to produce it. Otherwise, if you do, you get... 20 years in jail, okay? All of a sudden, you've got millions of people from Mexico and other countries walking around the streets and they can't get a job. They can't find anywhere to live. So guess what do they do? They go to a park and they sleep. Then you have another law and that's vagrancy, okay? You pick them up and you go put them in a field. It's kind of like a concentration camp during the war. Put a big fence around it. Then you contact the country that they came from and say, would you come and get your people, please? I, that kind of thing. I'm full of solutions. Hey, y'all come back here tomorrow and... Uh, Send us a comment, write, and give me your solution. See ya.